we are going to be making a pumpkin bread today. Um, I found this copycat recipe for pumpkin bread, but I'm a little upset. I just realized it said pumpkin seeds, so I got pumpkin seeds. But these are the wrong pumpkin seeds. These are actually pumpkin seeds, not the inside of the pumpkin. So, I guess we just won't put pumpkin seeds on it. I don't know. So yeah, I have some friends coming. Well, when I say friends, I have like two friends that are coming later. Um, and so, I thought I would throw some food in the crock pot. Um, I actually really wanted to make Tiffany Beeston's vegan or whatever chili. Uh, so I think I'm gonna throw that into the crock pot today. Um, my hair is like super messy. Um, so I think I'm gonna throw that into the crock pot. Um, and then I'm gonna make some pumpkin bread. And that's it, like, I ain't really got much time to do anything. Yeah, so I am, I really wanna make this pumpkin bread first and then I wanna make the food in the crock pot. Cause it's vegan chili, I don't really think it'll take that long. I'll probably just put it on high for four hours. I think, I know my friend Kayla is probably coming after work around one, so she'll probably be here like just before two. Um, and then I think my friend China and her son River are coming. Yeah, River! Yeah, River! <laughs> uh, probably, around maybe the same time too. I know she says she'll come like after his nap. So I guess we'll see. I'm kind of bummed out. Yeah. Lynn's very excited to play with River. Um, I kind of want one of these pumpkin seeds. I'm kind of bummed out that this is, this is what happens when you click list. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with these now. Great. Um, so yeah, I am going to make some pumpkin bread. We're, we're gonna make pumpkin bread. I'll leave the link down below to it. I found it on Pinterest. It's supposed to be a copycat recipe for the Starbucks one, which I love the Starbucks pumpkin bread. Um, so we'll see if it even tastes remotely good. Yeah, see it looks like this. So let's see if ours looks like that. All purpose flour, baking powder, pumpkin pie spice, baking soda, salt, vegetable oil, or canola, white sugar, brown sugar, vanilla extract, eggs, pumpkin puree, and pumpkin seeds. Yeah. A for apple. Um, ooh, fancy. Like this one decorated it. Alligator. So, I don't know, man. Preheat 325.
So here is the issue now. Um, I used my small bowl for the pumpkin one, and I'm supposed to pour the flour into this bowl. Um, so, Camel. I guess we're just gonna slowly pour that into here and just hope for the best. So. I'm really not good with <laughs> pouring things. It's like a thick batter, which I know pumpkin can be kind of thick sometimes. I was looking over Tiffany Beeston's recipe and I actually don't have like actual chili beans for whatever reason I thought white beans I don't, I don't know so we're just gonna kind of make a variation of our own I end up Pinteresting another recipe and it looked really good so um yeah yeah I don't know but I got this huge thing of petite diced tomatoes it's literally 28 ounces, so I'm just gonna use this. Um, I guess I'll just kinda like let you guys know what I'm doing instead, and I'll let you guys know if it's good. So Tiffany Beeson says she uses like one huge can of diced tomatoes. So that's the reason why I bought this. I don't typically like diced tomatoes, so we are going to add this. Now, um, so I'm just gonna add this. I'm sad I don't have a crock pot liner. I'm like out of them, I gotta order more on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below for my crock pot and the liners that I typically use because it's game changer. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna do that. I have this vegetarian chili seasoning mix, so I'm gonna add this into there. Um, you could make your own chili recipe, but uh, I ain't got time for that. Um, and then this recipe that I found actually has black beans and corn in it as well. Um, so we're gonna do black beans, corn, and then two of these great northern beans. That's the beans that I thought she was talking about, but I guess not. And I'm actually going to um, not drain the beans so that way it has extra juices inside of the um, chili. So, yeah, get rid of the corn. And then two of these northern beans. I mean, if you want to drain them, I guess you can, um, and they just add water, but I just figured it has extra flavor anyways. Oh, I just splashed myself with bean juice. I'm going to add two cans of this one. So these are these northern great beans are 15, almost 16 ounce cans. I think I saw that. Um, so yeah, these great northern beans are 15.8 ounces each. Corn is 15.25, and then the black beans is 15.25. So just for reference, and then my can of diced tomatoes is, I think I already told you, 20 ounces. So yeah, I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. 
it already smells so good. Um, I have two little itty bitty sweet potatoes. So I'm just gonna peel these. So off camera, I went ahead and diced up one whole yellow onion and then those two sweet potatoes. So I figured a lot of my cooking videos shows you how I cut, so nothing special so I thought I wouldn't show you guys. So I'm just gonna throw everything into the crock pot. So fall. I wish I had another sweet potato. Um, I recommend if you're gonna use this, do like maybe large sweet potatoes, but I click listed and that's what they gave me. Another thing Tiffany Beeston's recipe had was brown sugar. So she put a fourth cup of brown sugar. So I'm gonna do that to this is a half a cup, so not gonna fill this up all the way. But, yeah. That was like super messy, but I didn't want to do the whole thing. But yeah, her recipe has a fourth cup of brown sugar. And I know she said like that's like key. She said it makes such a difference. Um, and I actually made a chili a few weeks back and it had um, ground turkey in it. No, ground meat in it. Um, and I actually put chocolate in it and that made it so good. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna just do maybe like a half a cup of water in this. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water just cause it looks a little thick. That's a little better. All right, so not even a full mason jar. I'm still drink. So I'm just gonna let this cook on high for four hours. So my banana bread, I mean banana bread, what? My pumpkin bread. I just took it out of the oven. I ended up cooking it for 53 minutes total. Um, and it is like hard on top like it says, but it's still kind of like soft. Um, but you know, it's gonna clean when I have that one in my mouth. So it's perfect. Perfect. Yay! I'm so excited. Uh, I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit. Um, and then I will let you guys know how it tastes. Oh my God, is that my hair? Oh my God, I didn't know if that was my hair across my forehead or a crack on my screen. Um, but yeah, it's 11.30 now. It's pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread, that's right. You have careful top. It's pumpkin bread, huh? So we have our chili over here. It smells so good, you guys. Oh, what? What are you doing? It smells so good. I honestly, God, hope it tastes good. Um, we shall see. But, I say hi. Hey. What do you keep asking for today? Right, Dad, home. Yeah, Dad, home. Dad, Dad. Okay, go do that, sister. Um, he woke up this morning. And he's been asking for daddy all morning. Um, and I actually have like a really cute video. And he's like, I, I want dad to come no home. Dad to home. I need dad to no come pa. home. I chill the pa. Yeah. I chill the pa. Yeah. Right, I know I should wait to cut this, but I'm like, ugh, I just really want to slice right now. Um, so we're going to cut into this. Because you know what? If it doesn't taste good, I can't serve it to my friends. And I could, but they can't know I suck at baking. I can only show them things that are good. <gasps> you guys. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it looks so good. Okay, you wanna try it? Okay. Oh my god, I wait, I don't like I think I put too much flour on the bottom. So it's really, it's okay. So it's really, really moist. I, th I think it's pretty good, but 
So compared to Starbucks, texture-wise, yes. Um, flavor fat, flavor-wise, no. Mm. Mm. You give it a thumbs up. Mm. He's giving it a thumbs up. Um, it just, it doesn't taste like pumpkin enough to me. Um, maybe if you make it do a little bit more pumpkin, the pumpkin um, pie uh, spice mm. on it. But Can the texture is really, really good. The black Again, it's still really hot, so maybe that's why like, the flavors aren't really popping yet. Usually when it cools off a little bit, you can kind of taste it a little bit better. We'll see. But it's not... We will see, but it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. But I would try a little bit more pumpkin spice seasoning. You guys, this chili recipe was so delicious. The only recommendation I have is definitely add more sweet potatoes. And maybe even make some like ground turkey and add it to the side. I don't know. I just feel like chili is always better with meat so that's just my opinion but it was really good on its own anyways so yeah definitely try this recipe